Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Carrie Love Cat coming to you with a weekly vlog. And my very first one for 2014 is going to be showing you my Filofax Saffiano Mini. I used to have the Thomas Paul, but I got the Filofax Saffiano Mini because I wanted something smaller and lighter. And you can see it fits in the palm of my hand. So let's jump right in. It has a snap closure, which I really love. By the way, I've traveled with this, flipped it, dropped it, spilled coffee on it, coffee wipes right off. So this really holds up. When you open it up to the very first page, you'll see that my pen, and the pen that I'm using is the 1X or Owen Onyx, O-N-E-X from Staples. And I love it. You can buy them in bulk, and they have um, little rubber tips down here so they don't slip and slide. And then I made my own little quote book here, just stapling some computer paper together. So um, I really like motivational quotes, and when I see one, I like to open up this page because I have my quotes and I have my cute little charms here, my little cat charm. Um, you know, Carrie Love Cat, there it is. Okay, and, um, and then I have my sticker here again from the Hong Kong airport from my honeymoon. So when I open up this page, it just feels really good, and it's like, yay! I'm organized. <laughs> Behind here I have work calendars, lists um, of things that I need to get, like um, shopping lists. And this isn't where I keep all my shopping lists. I'll show you that later on. But sh things for today. This is the today pile. Today or this week goes right here. So um, anything that I'm not using immediately goes in the back. And I'll show you where that is in a minute. So anyway, this little glossy sheet right here came with the Filofax, and that's how it starts. And then the way that I keep my place in the Filofax, they give you this little ruler, and that's how I keep my place. And um, I also use paper clips and, of course, tabs you can see sticking out there. So I'm going to show you guys, let's see here, you can see I have a couple of pages marked. And you can see how crazy some of my other pages are. I'm going to show you guys March. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, Filofax gives you these colorful sheets. I put one at the beginning of every month so I can write down my monthly goals. And I also write down birthdays and just major events and things that I really want to complete for that month. Then, when I'm planning out my week, which Filofax is a little bit different than Thomas Paul because... <clears throat> they give you an extra space up here, and I love to use, it says this week, Let's see if I can get it to focus, <clears throat> it says this week, and then I can write my weekly goals, which I take right from my monthly goals, so if there's something here, I'll write it here, and then I'll schedule the time. The way that I set this up, um, I don't remember what I said in the Thomas Paul video, but it's kind of the same. I put like business stuff here, so work, workout, um, laundry, chores, what I'm making for dinner, and then I put a little square, and then when I've completed it that day, I check off the square. On this side is like the fun side, so getting your nails done, going out to dinner, date night, movies, going ice skating, anything fun like that goes over here. So this side always has a lot, and this side not so much, but I really want this side to have more. But um, craft projects that I want to work on that goes on the fun side. So it's like school, work, home stuff, and then over here is like fun stuff. So that's kind of how I set that up. The pink sheets back here I took from Thomas Paul and I just put them in here because they're a little bit bigger but they do fit. Let's see, they fit. And um, those are basically just my contacts I didn't want to have to write over, which meant that I had a bunch of extra contact sheets from Filofax. So the contact sheets look like this and the way that I use them, um, I use them for a couple different reasons. One, I have a couple of pages for my shopping list. So I use the post-its and I'll have Michaels, Target, whatever. Not grocery lists. Grocery lists I keep on an ever-evolving staples list on the notes part of my iPhone and then if it's my husband's job to get groceries, I just email it to him or something because that's like a joint effort. And I know people do use Google Docs and Google Calendar too for that, but this is just like, okay, I'm out of glue sticks or different presents I want to get. So the different regular stores that I visit, I use those little post-it. And then when I'm going to go to that store, I can just find it back here or I can take it out and um, put it back here in the front in this section. 
So another way that I use this is that I separate it January, February, March, April, and I write everybody's birthdays in the dates because not everybody's on Facebook. And finally, another way that I use this, I do the same thing. I break it up January, February, March, April, May, and I write the different crafts that I want to complete or would like to complete um, for that month. In the back here, I have another pocket, and back here I have stuff and some random stickers. I have stuff that's coming up. So like that race that I registered for, the registration's back here. And um, so things just in months coming up are, are back here. So, um, you know, maybe I have a dentist appointment. I have to bring something. I'll stick it back here. So it's all here ready to go. I also have this little, um, little, um, what's it called? A little folder or pocket. And this is also from the Thomas Paul. And in here I have stickers. When I'm done with the day, get some sticker. Sometimes I put a big one of these over a day and check it off or write a little good job note. These are my post-its that I use for um, my lists and special to-dos. My mini um, highlighter and my tabs. And this isn't very full. I have a section in my craft roller where I keep all my file effects stuff. But this is just the essentials so that it closes and fits in my purse. But if you guys want to see a video on that, I will show you my file effects supplies and how I organize my craft supplies. Here I have my cards and I do use them for like the hair salon, the nail salon. <laughs> this is all like very, very girly. This is all my like girly stuff. And um, so I took them out, but if you guys really want to know, I can just PM me. <laughs> So that's basically it. I have stuff coming up. I have my supplies. I have my cards. I have my contacts, my birthday lists, all my lists. I have my days planned out, my weeks, my monthly goals. And then I have my fun page in the front. And I don't get decorate with washi tape, but I do use, like as you can see, Valentine's Day. So I have heart stickers. So I do get heart stickers or I'll get shamrocks for March. Um, you know, Easter eggs for Easter. So I use a lot of stickers. I just can't show you guys because the pages I wrote on look like a crazy one. <laughs> I'm really busy. Um, but I hope one day to get into like all the washi tape and everything like that. I really love that stuff. So anyway, oops, that's that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.